What's up everyone, it's Mr. Fantastic here, and you read the title right, the iPhone 30 mini will be the last mini iPhone by Apple, and it's because the sales of the iPhone 12 mini were not as good as Apple thought they would be, they were just 5% of the whole iPhone 12 lineup, which isn't that great from Apple's perspective, and I don't blame Apple for doing this, it's just that many people don't want a phone with that many compromises like the better life and that small of a form factor, especially when for a hundred dollars more you can get a phone like the iphone 12 which is exactly that but without all those compromises i know that there are some people who really appreciate the smaller form factor and just want a compact iphone and for them i have great news apple is working on a phone like the samsung galaxy flip which is like a clamshell phone that kinds of fall into half We've seen many patents of it being leaked online. It won't come this year or next year. We expect it to come in 2023. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that. Coming back to the iPhone 13 mini, it will be pretty much identical to the iPhone 12 mini with those flat sides, still the lightning port, MagSafe and dual cameras with the 12 megapixel R wide and the 12 megapixel main camera. And speaking of cameras, I know that the orientation of the cameras look very weird and it's because of the sensor shift stabilization on the main camera which basically makes the camera a lot more stabilized and results in more stabilized videos. It was exclusive to the iPhone 12 Pro Max last year but it's gonna be on all iPhone 13s this year. And since the sensor shift stabilization makes the camera sensor a bit bigger, it can't fit in the same line as the other white camera because it would obviously protrude it so that's why the cameras are oriented like this. As for the display, it's gonna be a 5.4 inch OLED display with 120Hz of refresh rate which basically means that the display will be a lot more smoother. Now some are saying that the 120Hz will be exclusive to the Pro and Pro Max models so let's see how it goes. There will still be a notch but it's finally getting a lot smaller. It is expected to be 25% smaller according to many reliable leakers. It still does not look as good as the competition with those fancy hole punches but it still looks better than last year. And of course it will still have Face ID. Talking about the specs, it's gonna have 4GB RAM, 64GB of base storage and the A15 Bionic chip which is gonna be even faster than the already fast A14 Bionic chip inside the iPhone 12 series. And also we're gonna have a slightly bigger battery, it's gonna be 2406 mAh which is roughly 200 mAh bigger than the iPhone 12 mini. I think it's most probably because of the 120Hz refresh rate. I'm definitely excited for this iPhone, also I want to let you guys know that it might be called the iPhone 12 S mini, I know that sounds very very cringe but yeah it might be called that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. I also made a video on the regular iPhone 13 and 13 with their cat leaks. Definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description down below and here in the iCard. Thanks for watching. Rob like this video. And if you want to see more of this stuff, make sure to subscribe with that bell icon. I bring regular videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time. And up until then, be fantastic.